Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Todd. Tonight we're going to do spatchcock chicken. We're also going to do it with a jerk type seasoning with a little bit of uh, uh, pepper. And then we're going to stick it on the Traeger grill. It's going to be yummy. You guys don't want to miss this. Okay, so I've seen a lot of people do a lot of spatchcock chicken. It's when you take the spine out of the chicken so that it lays flat. And what that does is it creates an even cook with the chicken. It's no longer round. It's flat. You get an even temperature and it just cooks a whole lot better. It's a lot easier to manage and uh, you're really going to like it. We're going to be using a uh, jerk seasoning. Um, I've never used a jerk seasoning before. Um, I always thought it was kind of funny, but this is... This is the brand that we're using. What I like to do is carefully open this up and really pay attention to your splatter. Um, I like to kind of get some paper towels and, and kind of control some of the, the moisture and the mess and, uh, and whatnot. So as you can see, this is a young chicken. And uh, we probably don't need the, uh, the gizzards and the other things that are in it. So we're going to go ahead and pull that stuff out. So once you got the... Uh, the neck and, and some of those innards out. We're just going to take a quick uh, peek at uh, this guy. I'm going to name, name this guy Fred. So the spine's running right along here. So what you want to do, get yourself a really nice sharp knife. Okay. So we're going to go ahead with a nice big sharp knife. We're going to make a cut right here. I'm just going to go ahead and trim up a few of these little pieces of these rib bones that uh, didn't get. Okay, so we're going to turn this over. Okay, so as you can see here, it's lying pretty flat. And this is what we want. Okay, we're going to leave the skin on it as much as possible to try to preserve that moisture that's in the meat while it's on that smoker. Uh, we're also going to season it up here in a minute. I'm just putting some fresh gloves on so that uh, when I'm touching the spice uh, shakers that I'm not contaminating anything. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my spices ready. Um, I'm definitely going to be going for some jerk, jerk seasoning. And I'm going to go with a little bit of uh, this oil. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt a little bit off to the side here and I'm going to put some of that jerk seasoning right into it. What I'm doing is I'm going to be creating a little bit of uh, extra seasoning to uh, dab around in the uh, under the skin. So. Okay, Okay. now is the point that I'm going to use both hands here because I need to. So I'm just going to get some of that little oil that I created. I'm going to get up under here, up under the skin as much as I can. And again, this is just to kind of help get some of that flavor in there up under the skin and keep them juices in at the same time. So you can kind of see how I'm going in there with that. All right. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to use a little spicy garlic. Now, seasoning is definitely very important, but this is going to get some seasoning from the smoking process. We're going to be putting this on the Traeger. We're going to be putting it at 350. We're probably going to be cooking it for about uh, one hour until internal temperature reaches about 160 or so. And then we're going to sauce it up. Okay, we're going to go outside now and get the trigger going. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit the smoke setting. 
I check my pellets. We got plenty. Today I'm using a uh, competition blend. Actually, I'm sorry. Today we're using a gourmet blend of pellets. Um, there's no particular wood that we're using. We just want to get the smoke. Okay, let's get this on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chicken. I'm going to put it skin side up on that smoker for probably most of the cook until I get ready to sauce it. Again, I'm using gloves. Your tongues help me out. All right, there we go. So I got it on the trigger now. I set the temperature to 300 degrees. I really want that internal temperature to come up to about 160. And at that point, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna sauce the underbelly. And then I'm gonna flip it again, sauce the skin, and then continue to let it cook. And I'm probably looking for about 175 or so on the breast temperature. It's really a bad thing when somebody eats into a piece of chicken, you get a little pink uh, meat somewhere, and uh, I don't want any of that. So I'm gonna go up to about 175. So as you can probably tell, we're not doing true Jamaican jerk chicken. Yes, we got a little bit of jerk chicken seasoning, but I put a little salt and pepper on there, and we're smoking it, and then we're gonna use barbecue sauce toward the end. But I also have some butter, garlic, olive oil mixture here that I heated up, and I'm gonna kind of paint it right now. Uh, the color looks really good. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on this. This is gonna be really help color Really help lock in them. Really help lock in the juices. Okay, in a little while, I'm gonna be flipping that over and doing the other side. So I'm going to take this little instant read thermometer now and I'm going to be looking for about 160. I'm going to go in to the breasts where it's really thick. I'm going to try to go in the center right there. I really want it to be about 160 before I sauce it up. Okay, so unfortunately I'm seeing about 150 right now in some of the thicker parts of that breast. So I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and we're going to come back sauce it. Okay, I'm going to go in for another temperature probe. I really want to see 170 on those breast meat sections and then we'll probably take it off. Okay, so I'm just not seeing the temperatures that I want right now. Don't ever take chicken off the grill unless it's above 160. All right, there we go. It's been cooking for a couple hours now. We uh, finally got it to uh, internal temp uh, well above, above 160. That's where we want it to be. Well, some of the skin kind of tore a little bit, but that's all right. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut a leg off here and check it out. This leg looks really good. Smoke got this chicken really good. I think that butter drizzle that I uh, put on there with some garlic really helped it a lot. And uh, of course that barbecue sauce. Mm. Very nice. So I'm gonna cut in here in the breast. Mm. Oh, look at that. Nice and juicy. Just come out so nice. Look at that. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece of breast right there. What do you think of it, baby? I think it's juicy. It's very tasty. I like that jerk seasoning and whatever the sauce you made. I'm more retarded here. Mm -hmm. Alright, she's got 
got ourselves a salad. Mm. So it's got a great color. Let's see. Let me look at the color. Mmm. Oh my god, juicy, juicy, juicy. Mm. Very good. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate all your comments down below. If you want to share a recipe with us, we'd love to see it. And as always, please subscribe, tap the bell so you don't miss a thing. Hit us up in the comments, say hello on social media, and please check out the description for any of the spices and products we use in this video. And as always, share the barbecue love.